There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. See, when he's giving Joshua his command, remember, they've been waiting in the wilderness because they went to spy the land and then they had to wait 40 years, one for every day that they were out spying the land. Now it's his time to go into the land. Moses is now given, you know, Moses is now 120. Now he's given up the ghost and, and God says, Joshua, here's what I need you to do. And then, and then he tells them, be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto the Father to give them. He gave, when did he swear that? Abraham. Long time before he's even going on. So the time to act is different than the time to obey. Sometimes we get a little impulsive. I know I have a lot of impulsive things that I want to, you know, sometimes I get a little impulsive and I, I do things in haste. And what it ends up doing is it does create waste if you don't do it correctly. And I didn't mean to rhyme that, but that's just the way the saying goes. You know, if you do things in haste for God, you will create waste. Wasted opportunities for going out there and doing the right thing in the ministry. Wasted opportunities for going out there and leading others to Christ. Wasted opportunities to do the right thing for God. See, no fear means that you have to be patient. Because sometimes in our fear, that's what really happens, right? When do you, when do you uh, make stupid decisions in a time of panic? What do they teach you, like, you know, if you ever go to medical, uh, so any medical field, or you're in the armed forces, or military police, or all that, what's the first thing they try to knock out of you? They try to make things instinctive. That's why they put you through boot camp, and that's why they put you through, like, their shock and awe, so that you're not panicking, because when you panic, you do, you make uh, uh, impulsive reactions, right? And decisions, and usually it's a wrong decision. And that's what God says, look, when you have courage, you look at the whole situation. 